What's get up? This is Linux Dex. Debian and Ubuntu both are one of the leading Linux distributions of all time. Known for their rock solid stability and a huge community support, both of these distros are one family, but at the same time, miles apart from each other. Whatever their story might be, there is no denying that Ubuntu and Debian have made desktop Linux accessible and usable to the masses. Ubuntu and Debian are the top two Linux distributions used on the servers worldwide, so they are the professional's choice. Even for desktop usage, they both are the go-to distros when you want something stable and dependable. But which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you, Ubuntu or Debian? Let's find out. So I will be comparing them both side by side and in depth and as you know I'll keep it short and on point. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with more amazing Linux videos. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Talking about Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu has a heavily customized GNOME desktop. The GNOME desktop is customized to look like the traditional Unity desktop of Ubuntu. The workflow is intuitive. Ubuntu developers have an eye for detail and always get every small detail right. Personally, I do feel that the fonts are rendered much more solid in Ubuntu than Debian. The theming is gorgeous and a wide range of amazing wallpapers are included by default. Debian on the other hand has a clean stop GNOME desktop without any customizations. I kinda like this as it allows the users to modify the desktop according to their style. The theme is good but it is not as loud as Ubuntu. The color scheme is rather on the subtle side but the desktop does have a very polished look to it. Both Debian and Ubuntu desktops can be completely customized using the GNOME tweak tool. I give both the distros a point each as I like both the distros and it is rather subjective point. You might like one, I might like the other, you can choose whichever you like. Next, we'll be having a look at the stability of the two operating systems. Before you get into it, you should know that Ubuntu is based on Debian. Yes, Debian is the mother distro of Ubuntu, but the similarities end there. Debian is ridiculously stable. A stable version of Debian consists of packages that have undergone extensive testing and it cannot get any more stable. Stability is the prime motto of Debian. Debian doesn't even have a release schedule. A new version of Debian is released only when the developers have an absolute agreement on the impeccable stability of the packages. This is the main reason why professionals trust Debian with their servers. Ubuntu is a stability focused distro too, but it has newer packages than Debian. The packages on Ubuntu are updated more frequently and are generally very stable. Personally, I trust Ubuntu so much that I use it as my daily driver and I do all my development work on it. Package management is very harmonious on Ubuntu. Ubuntu is 100% dependable. If you do a fresh install and continue to use it as it is, no problems at all. But updating the OS has broken my display drivers, leaving me unable to boot into the OS on multiple occasions. This cannot be overlooked when you are dealing with a stable distro like Ubuntu, so Debian wins this round. Debian and Ubuntu both are great distros with optimized performance. They are not far too apart in matters of performance and resource consumption. But Ubuntu allows you to easily install proprietary drivers for your graphics processor which greatly enhances the performance and the interaction quality. Debian on the other hand uses open source drivers which are generally very slow when compared to proprietary drivers. But you can install proprietary drivers on Debian too which is slightly cumbersome. Although Ubuntu is Debian's child, Ubuntu has a relatively better software availability when compared to Debian. On Debian, you need to install software from the official repositories only. Now although Debian repositories have 51,000 packages, if you need something other than what is officially available, the installation of such software, although possible, is discouraged. Ubuntu overcomes this issue by the use of PPAs. Ubuntu allows certain trusted developers to maintain their own software you can install them with the help of a PPA. This has led to a huge vendor support to Ubuntu. Any software is generally available to be installed on Ubuntu in a fast, reliable, harmonious and a trustworthy way. This is a huge plus point for Ubuntu. Steam officially supports only Ubuntu at the moment, but you can use Debian for gaming too. In fact, Valve's very own Steam OS is based on Debian. Steam and Steam games run great on both these distros. I'll give a point each for both these distros for gaming as they both are excellent choices for gaming on Linux. Debian and Ubuntu have an excellent community support. Debian is a true community project. All the work, 
from the major decisions to the development work, from advertisement to the guides are done by the community. And the Debian community is strong, focused, resourceful and passionate. They are truly remarkable. Debian has a huge compilation of how-tos and repair guides. This makes using Debian really accessible for each and everyone. Ubuntu may be a corporate-led Linux distro, but the community plays an important part in its success. Firstly, the Ubuntu community is huge and the number of volunteers on the forums is really impressive. Secondly, Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issue you might face can be easily solved by following the beginner-friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. Both Debian and Ubuntu get a point each for community support. My respect and appreciation for the community members of both these distros for the amazing work they put in. Ubuntu has a really simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way on Ubuntu. You can install Ubuntu in under 15 minutes. Ubuntu makes installation as simple as it can get. Debian on the other hand has a slightly more complicated installation procedure. Although there is nothing to complain about, it could have been simpler. People who are new to Linux might find the installation an issue. Configuring your hardware and installing drivers is a delight on Ubuntu. It takes 2 minutes. That's it. While on Debian, it's not so simple. Configuring all your hardware might take a lot of googling around and hours of time if you are new to Debian. Ubuntu clearly wins this round. Personally speaking, Debian is a great Linux distro. Hundreds of top Linux distros including Ubuntu are derived from Debian. It's a great distro to be running on servers and home computers too. It provides a dependable computing experience. But Ubuntu just beats Debian when software availability and the ease of hardware configuration is concerned. And these are pretty important areas an operating system should excel in. So for today, the winner, not by a huge margin but a winner nevertheless is Ubuntu. So go ahead and give them a try. The download link for both these distros is given in the description of this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. If you like this video then do hit the red subscribe button. This is Linux Tech signing out.